Good afternoon. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us on Midday here with Maria. Hello. Happy to be here. Yeah, on a Monday. As always. Yeah, normally it's a Friday, so Monday's a little different. We're changing it up a little. I may or may not have lost my voice with this weather, so just bear with me. <laughs> it's not the weather. We had a busy weekend, Maria. You think that's what it was? Yeah. We did. Friday, we um, had a bachelorette party. <laughs> yes, makeshift. We also, you sometimes meet people in your life mm -hmm. that you just kind of need at the right moment. I agree with that. Yeah. That happened Friday night, don't so. you think, for yeah. all of us? Yeah. Have you ever had that scenario happen where maybe it wasn't the most ideal situation, mm -hmm. and yeah. then come to find out? You run into them, and then it is the ideal situation. I that think. was Charlie from Ohio. Yes. So, uh, Charlie from Ohio is in a band, right? No, she's not. Oh, that's she's Charlie. Not. That's, that's the next night. Charlie from Ohio. I know who Charlie from Ohio is. Yes, she was amazing. And, you know, she was a prime example that sometimes an apology goes a long way. And to have the guts to um, apologize after not being so nice to us at first. <laughs> so, something happened at the That's bachelorette Charlie. party. No, we just, I think it's interesting how people are brought to you sometimes to teach you lessons. She was wonderful. And then they're exactly what you need. It happens. Mm -hmm. That happened Friday. Mm -hmm. Saturday, we had a little birthday party. Yes. That's the one I was talking about. Yeah, that was Saturday. Um, we also heard some music at a local yes. restaurant here. That was just that was also uh -huh. very inspiring. Uh -huh, it was. What well, his name's Brad. Brad. We Brad. we were very very impressed. <laughs> Neither one of us are musically inclined. No. So let's just say this. Mm -hmm. But the drummer, he was he so was passionate. So, so passionate. That's the thing. Is it's not just his talent. It's that he was so into it, and I can really value that in somebody. Yeah. And so he his passion was contagious, and we caught on to it, and. We have a big announcement. <laughs> we, we have decided <laughs> to start a band. You're welcome. We'll have more details Kentucky. coming soon. We have a name. We, we have, have a name. first single name. Mm -hmm. We have some people assigned to some instruments. That's mm -hmm. also a thing. When you realize that you're going to do a band, you have to decide within your friends who would be right. good at what instrument. And I think we need to notice that we have friends that are like, okay, I'm in, like in a heartbeat. And um, that speaks volumes as well. We have a guitar player. Uh -huh. so. It's going to be a good band. Yeah. But anyways, that was Stay our tuned. weekend. Hopefully all of you had great weekends as well. Maybe a lot of you went to a little KFC uh -huh. over the weekend, which okay. still impresses me that the KFC here has a buffet. Yeah? I've yet to go, though. Oh. Yeah. You're, I, you're, actually, hello, Miss Kentucky. You haven't been to the KFC <laughs> buffet? I have been to a KFC buffet, not this one, and it has been a few years. Well, it's time. Let's go. We should. How about today? Mash, but okay, well, we're, that, there we'll we go. We'll take our band We there. have a date tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, some people like KFC so much. Listen to this. It's finger looking good, right? Uh -huh. Well, one of the chain's restaurant owners in Australia believes his restaurant deserves a Michelin star. Okay. Yeah, there's not a wine list there, but he says they use fresh chicken every day, adds handwriting, and prepares the chicken requires some skill, obviously Michelin star skill. He even created a Facebook group called Kentucky Fried Chicken Deserves a Michelin Star. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can't get more obvious than that. All right. Um, yeah, I think, okay, so I think it's great. Um, it's not my favorite. Do you think it deserves a star? Be honest. Um, a Michelin star. Yeah. There's I, no wine, Maria. I want to say no. Yeah. I'm trying to beat around the bush, but I want to say no for the most part. Um, <laughs> the most but, part. <laughs> you know, it is interesting. That's what we're known for, and I barely ever have ate there ever. And, um, and that's nothing against, like, fast food or it not being good. I just don't think about it. Well, I need to go to the buffet. So yeah, can we do. please set that day? Yeah, we need to do that. I won't eat the chicken, but the mashed potatoes, do That's, they have macaroni and yeah, cheese? Yeah, don't, you don't do meat. Um, yeah, they have everything Southern. Uh, when I was in the Bahamas, so it was during my years in Kentucky, and so you had to like wear the sash and everything, and the number of people that came up to me and said, oh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, was a lot. <laughs> and they're like, they're a little pretty Bahamas accent. And so it's interesting how <laughs> it much we're known. It was close to that. It, it sounded kind of similar to that, kind of. Very similar. Um, yeah, just a little better. So no, it's the really world loves KFC. interesting that the world loves it, and I think a lot of people here don't appreciate eat it as, it as much, much as people in Let's other bring it back. places. Bring it back. Yeah. All right. Let us know about that. All right. Here's another <laughs> restaurant. I guess it's Restaurant Monday. Okay. This may or may not be familiar to a lot of us ladies. Have you ever gone to a restaurant and your friend or your date claimed they weren't hungry? But as soon as you received your food, they started snacking off of your plate. Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Mama D's Diner in Arkansas has you covered 
They have a plate option called now, My Girlfriend Is Not Hungry, which it adds some extra fries and fried chicken wings or fried cheese sticks to your plate. Tori, you're laughing. Has your date <laughs> said they're not hungry and ate your food? No. Never? Okay. Okay. But I, I think this is amazing. I think it's great. Um, first of all, I don't go to a lot of restaurants unless I am hungry. Like, I would just be like, no, let's do something else. Uh, but if you were, I think this is a genius idea. Um, I think it's really smart to have the little extra thing. I kind of, I kind of love it. I have, uh, I love this option, especially with the fries. And this yeah. is why. Like, so I may or may not have had an egg that I would do this to all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. So you know experience. Well, yeah, because he like had to eat every hour, and we're like, oh, well, <laughs> I guess we have to go there. So I wanted the fries always. Okay. But that's all I wanted, and not enough to order an entire yeah. fry thing. Because See, then you're guilty if you eat well, all that, the Well, that's fries. what I was going to say is to my, like, I believe that samples don't have calories. That's exactly. If it's on someone else's plate, it doesn't have calories. No. So for that reason, more than the not hungry thing, because I, I would just say I'm hungry or not, um, I would eat them. Right. Because it's suddenly calorie free. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can get by with it. It's, so and you don't you have not? a quantitative count because yeah. he ate some it's of them, like so you order. didn't eat all of them. Right. But after a while, they start to get a little bit annoyed. Yeah. So, um, this is good. I like this option. <laughs> I do too. I don't know if I would like this option if whoever I was with just went ahead and ordered it. Yeah, like, lot, yeah, like they like, just assume. Like I'd be like, I'm not hungry, and then yeah. See, they just I would be ahead. okay with it because again, it's like you're not guilty for eating the fries. It's like you didn't order the fries; they ordered oh, the fries. Oh, that's true. That's true. They I need like this, a code word for it when they order it. It so is super so cute, hear. and a lot of friends. This turns into an issue because they order food, and then there's always that one friend that's like. I'll just have tea. And then they're like eating <laughs> my all friends. their like stuff. And yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, they yeah. could end up yeah. not friends anymore. So my girlfriend's not hungry platter. It's a great idea. Such I'm a good a fan. idea. All right.